Welcome back to my new video. Um, this video, we are going to be looking at how we can use the a function um, retrieval through the assistant API. Okay, so that is what we are going to look at. Um, so let me open this. So we are going to use the code interpreter in this case. In our previous video, we used the uh, function calling approach. This time we are going to pass in the code interpreter. And I'm sure by now you've seen this function assistant manager before. This time around, I decided to put it in a file called um, utils.py. Okay, so this is already explained. If you don't understand this one, um, check the last video before this one and um, you understand what is going on here. So I'll quickly go and create a new file, a new file called GPT Assistant Code Interpreter hyphen yt. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call this utils file from utils import assistant manager. Okay, once we import assistant manager, we want to define a function called main. And then our API key as usual, API key is equal to os.get env, and then we pass in the API key, okay? And um, here we are going to call manager and assistant manager, and then pass in the API key. So the next is to create, um, this is the process one, is to create the assistant, okay? So I'm going to paste that in because it's a long, a long thing to type. So I'm just going to paste it in and, and explain. Okay, so here we are creating an assistant and then the name of the assistant is what, math tutor. The instructions is what, you are a personal math tutor. Write and run code to answer math questions. And then the tool type we are using this time is what, code interpreter. Okay, so the next process is to create a thread. Okay, so we say manager, dot create thread and then the third process process three is to add a message okay so if the message is also long so i'm just going to copy it here and then paste and then explain okay so the message we are adding is the role is the user and then the content is i need to solve math the solve the equation 3x squared plus 11x is equal to 14. Can you help me? Okay, so that is what we need. And then the last process, which is four, is to run the um run the instruction. Okay, so we're gonna say manager dot run assistant, and then we're gonna pass an instruction is equal to please address the user as Donald Trump, okay? They say the user has a premium account, premium account, okay? And finally, we'll just say manager dot wait for completion. Then here we're gonna call our main function, okay? So that is all. And um, I'll just run this and then we see the results and then we are good to go. So I'm going to run this.
Okay, so I think the open API, API key. Okay, so let me run this again and see what we get. It says you need the open API key variable. Um, not too sure what is going on here. Um, let me see the utils. Um, the API key client option must be must be set either by passing it to the client. Oh, okay, so I see what is going on. So we need to load uh, from .env import load, and then we load, we load, um, okay, I don't think we need to load it here. So I'm just going to load load it here. Okay. So we need to load it from the environment variables. Okay. So we need to load the API key from the environment variable and the API key is here. So I think we are good. So let me try again. Okay, so at this time it's it's working now. So all I needed to do was to load this import. Okay, so it's waiting for the assistant to process. You can see the status was in what, what was completed before it, it was in progress. Now it's completed. So now this is the user, okay, this is the user. I need to solve this equation. And then the assistant came up with this. The solution to the equation is R, X is equal to negative 14 over um, three and X is equal to one. These are the points where the quadratic function intersects with the X axis. Would you like to explore this equation further or need assistance with another topic? And then it went on, it set, it moved the 14 to the left-hand side and then now you apply the quadratic formula to get the roots. Okay, so this is the process it used. Let me, okay, it says, so well, let me calculate the roots for you. And then it started doing its own thing and came out with the, with the answers or the roots to this quadratic equation. Okay, so this is how you use the, the tool called code interpreter, okay? And um, I think that is all with this uh, code interpreter use. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.